They're coming to the green flag here. Dario Markstorm will lead you down, will lead us down to the green flag here at Sebring for round number three at the IndyCar Road Course IndyCar Series. Uh, as here comes LJ Mills to the bottom of turn in turn one. This is a really kind of a tough track. This is more of an endurance track. So keep an eye out on those that might wreck. This is a corner, one of the corners where you'll see a lot of trouble happening. We even have it. As you see, lots of drivers slipping and sliding into that corner. As LJ Mills will get the lead immediately in lap one, but here comes Dario Markstorm to the inside. He's got a run. Here they come into the corner. Oh, he drove it wide and shoved the 12 off the track. I think he will hop that as we got cars scattering behind him. Oh, man. Turner is falling back like a rock. I think they had to scatter due to that. And we still got cars beating and banging. Those are technically Indy car. We're not supposed to do that. So no caution is out as the lead is still changing. As Hartford has taken the lead now. The number 27 GoDaddy car taking the lead. It's a single file pack. We're going to wait for cars to make a move. See if anybody else is battling back here we got more the two's got rear end damage so abandon has rear end damage somehow as we got cars just racing really hard will blue is trying to get the podium spot already on lap one here there's kavik naro and lj mills also on the inside line coming into the last corner but hartford is now your leader after a change of events the pole hitter of daria mark storm in second well, Lewis in third as we have more cars battling back there. Cavagnaro is still trying to get around Kevin Bandit. It's more position. As Hartford will lead lap one. Here they come into turn one. Barney Taylor, uh, that's not Barney Taylor, but uh, Kevin Bandit making a move on the inside of Alan Cavagnaro. He's got Christian Master following. Here they come into this corner. It's really hard to race. And Cavagnaro almost shoved it off the track. It's just kind of a mayhem as Tydent will be in, is in the last position. And we got a car around. Who is that? That is PJ Williams. No caution. Joseph Curse and others have seen damage. No caution flew. I think he got turned there. of a fence. Williams got turned. Let's take a look at that. Let me rewind this here. And oh okay. So Adriana Master turns uh, PJ Williams into the tires and there goes his race down the drain early on at Sebring, so let's look at what we are live. So the 4 is also having a problem. So Alex Hawkins receiving more problems. Nobody else, I, I don't know what happened to Hawkins either. I think maybe he stalled, but I don't know. He could have wrecked as well. But I kind of want to check here too. Oh, he just stalled, so... that's Okay, that's how that happened. But let's focus back here up front. Hartford is still in the lead here. We got the 18 of Dario Markstrom trying to still on impatient with this 27 here. He knows he's got the car to win as with as with the 27. So Will Lewis is kind of waiting for these two to battle so he can catch them both. And he has actually. So there's the three as well of Johnny Mills running there. There's a the rest of the field there oh Cornell's went off there. Cornell's uh still I think I pronounced I'm pronouncing the last name wrong, so I, I'm not sure at all. As Hartford is still as you see Will Lewis is battling for the second position here. And Mark Storm put a bit wide, but Lewis can't really bite, but can't really find the bite there. He is waiting. He's gonna use maybe one. He's gonna try and attack him coming into the last corner. Yes, he is. Here he comes. 
will lose to try to get the second position from Dario Markstorm. I don't think it's gonna work because Markstorm's gonna get the run off the corner, but Lewis has him cleared. So Lewis has gained another spot, so he's gonna catch the number 27. Remember, he did win the first race, so Will Lewis is a good road course ringer. So he's gonna be a championship contender possibly in the future. I might have jinxed that. But Will Lewis is strong. He's catching the 27. Here they come into the S's. Pretty much a green flag run so far. It was like the 20 gaining turn, but that was not a yellow flag. As uh, Hartford has. And there you see Mark Storm, Hartford still in the lead. Mark Storm still looking. Mills and Cavagnaro are battling hard for the fourth position. The podium position. People, uh, second and third. Will Lewis and Mark Storm. They're battling hard. Here comes Mark Storm coming in the corner. He's going to break a bit earlier than Will Lewis. And Lewis is going to drive a bit wide. But Lewis will still get the position. As you see, there's uh, Alex Hawkins there. He did not do well, really, because he had back end damage. He's in eighth right now, the number eight. As we see, we got Joe Parrott who flipped over at Indianapolis, so not quite the day. Oh uh, well, he's running in a good position right now. So another run, another good run. I think Parrott will want. Well, I think Parrott will want this run. So except he kind of wants more positions up there. There's the defense. There is the Indianapolis winner. Kyle Collins in the number 11 Geico, uh, I think that's a, no, that's a Chevrolet, I don't know, wait, I don't know, so, I honestly don't know, here they come, oh, I think we're gonna have pit stops, yes we will, as the number 27 of John Hartford has come in a pit lane, we got cars going double file coming in as well, so let's, Oh, okay, no, nobody, I hope nobody hits that wall. Indianapolis was a disaster when we had that wreck of Cavagnaro. So we're gonna see, I don't think, I think the cars that are damaged are gonna stay out. Like Joseph Curtis, he's got back end damage from first left shenanigans running into each other. The two of uh, Dan Banden as well. These guys had damage earlier. As you see, the number 27, Hartford knows he's got the car to beat. He has a good car. Here's the Mark Storm, the pole sitter. Has a okay, I think he's got a bad stop. Apparently, when you're in the first stall, have a bad stop. He lost a lot of track time that time. He lost a lot of track time. Hartford still will gain the lead. Lewis will be in second. Johnny Mills is going to be in the podium position in third. Cavagnaro is going to be in fourth, and Kyle Collins, the Indianapolis winner, is going to be in fifth. As you see, where you see the 14, who's gotten back end damage, They're running there, he's going to be pretty slow. As Hartford is going to try and pull away from Will Lewis, there you see Kyle Collins and the nine are battling for the fifth position here. Collins has had a up and down car. His his car is a bit tight in some and loose in others, so it's not really been nice to him at all. As Kevin Bandon's got a decent car, he hasn't had quite the season expected, maybe, but uh, he's running really solid today. Really good run for him. As the points leader of Ali Nelson is running in the back as well. Ali Nelson not quite, quite having the day she wanted to see or have. So points leaders have been struggling. Will Lewis struggled in the second race. And now Ali Nelson is struggling in this one. So basically I seemingly if you're the points leader you're not you're less likely to do well in the next race. But you never know. As Hartford is trying to pull away here, Lewis is just keeping the pace with him. He knows he's got the car, he's got a good car as well. 
Lewis is only 0.67. Let's see if he gains any. Uh, he slightly gained a uh, two hundredths there, as Lewis is got a slightly faster car. Uh, yeah, there we go. That that shows Johnny Mills quietly running in third. Didn't quite have the run he needed at Indianapolis. Cavagnaro had a good run to Indy until he hit the pit wall at the end, almost that basically cost him that good run. So Cavagnaro is trying to find redemption and get a top five today and not get the pit wall. That's not meant to laugh at you or anything, Cavagnaro, so. Uh, but, yeah. So Cavagnaro trying to stay in the fourth position for now and possibly challenge for the podium. You see, there is Dan Bandon there. Not Dan Dan, but a Kevin Bandon. There in the nine. And there you see Kyle Collins and Alex Hawkins running once again in the top ten. He's pretty much, pretty much has just stayed there in that position. He just went off there, but he's had a solid day as well. PJ Williams, not PJ, but Gabe Williams is struggling today, so the Williams are not going to have quite the runs they want today. Uh, PJ had a good car until he got turned by Adriana Master. As you see here, the two front runners are battling for position right now. Will Lewis is coming. He knows he's got a car, or at least has the car to pass to him. As uh, Johnny Mills and uh, Kavanaugh, I think, are going to try and wait for these guys to battle each other, and that's when they're going to attack Kyle Collins and Dan, uh, Kevin Bandon. I keep saying Dan. My bad. Because Dan's in the back, so. Ke and Kevin Bandon are just single file right now. I think they're also going to battle a bit later, not now. Let's see, as you see. Basically, these two have been on each other for a while now. We're on lap 7 of 14, so we're halfway into this race. As well, Lewis is going to wait for the 27 to make a mistake, and here he comes. Can't quite. Nope. Still trying to get him. Quite. Hartford's got a good card. He can hold him off in some corners, but Lewis can make a move on others. So for this corner is also a run, a corner where you can pass pretty easily. I think Lewis is going to use a bit of the bumper here. Use a little bit of it. He's a lot. As you see, we got the others just trying to pass each other. There's Adriana Master in 15th. Not quite the run she's needed. She's kind of a bit down there in the points, so... A struggle for her. DJ Curtis is struggling this season in the 28. There's Ali Nelson, the points leader, still in the back. Oh, she hasn't really been able to recover. There is Ty Dan, also struggling. So, as Will Lewis is still on the bumper. Well, basically they are. We're battling hard. The 15 is also. And uh, he flipped over at Indy, so I don't know how that's gonna end. How he ends up. So I, as you see the 12 of LJ Mills and the number 10 of Barney Taylor. LJ Mills I think had a good run in the I pre, I'm pretty forgetful. But these two are battling hard for position. They are in the back mid-pack right now. So they are trying to actually catch the 18 for the 10th position. So, But they're still battling in the process so it's not really going to help them at all. As well, Lewis is still trying to find a way to get around this 27 here. As we are going to reach lap number 8 here at Sebring. John Hartford has still got the lead. Hartford's got a dominant car today. But the 18 overall has the fastest car, but he's in 10th position. As you see the 10 of Barney Taylor on the inside of LJ Mills for position here. That is for the 11th position. As Lewis is making a bit less mistakes, but he's got the faster car than the 27. I know that. As you see, Johnny Mills and Kevin Nara basically stayed in their spots. The 9 of uh, Kevin Bandon running in 5th right now. Collins in 6th. Hawkins has made his way to 7th position, so he's caught... Oh, a bit of a bumper there. But Hawkins has slowly made his way... Slowly but surely made his way up there. You see LJ Mills and the 10 have still been battling hard. 
Adriana Master and uh, TJ Dent are in the back right now, but as you see here, Hawkins is come is slowly making his way up. He's he's he was an eighth at one point, but he's just made one position. So I think he's waiting for the eleven to make a mistake here. As let's see here, they're still in the still the same. Hawkins still looking to get around this number eleven. this corner right here and still can't get around the 11 unless he can drive it wide right there this corner is where people drive the cars wide as looks like he, yeah as these two have been on the bump have been together for a while now I think pit stops are going to determine that as here they come down pit lane and once again for the second pit stop of the day. As I think this will be the last one. You see the others coming in, let's see who will stay out. I don't think anybody's going to stay out basically because everybody's coming in because I think everybody's on the same strategy. So this could determine the race right here. Hartford's in pit lane, Blue is second. Uh, Johnny Mills in the third position, Cavagnaro running a solid fourth. As look at, let's see who's gonna take the tires. I think everybody will take tires here. It is a road course, so tires will wear out pretty easily. There's the pole sitter and uh, LJ Mills coming in. I think Will Lewis had a faster stop that time. Yes, he's got the faster stop. It will be the second one out. That will be Cavagnaro. Naro will be the second one out of the track. So Hartford's pit stop was not good at all. That will leave Will Lewis with the lead. So Lewis is already going to go find his second win of the season. Unless Cavagnaro can catch him. So he's going to be the first repeat winner of this series. If he will be able to hold him off. I see the rest of the field coming out of pit lane. Just been a struggle for most of these drivers. In the back, it's been a struggle for some. There's Cameron Hawkins running in 25th. Basically, the only car out is PJ Williams. So, but I think uh, Will Lewis has a big enough lead to get around. Let's see if Cavagnaro has a faster car. I doubt that, but you never know. Will Lewis has got a big enough lead to make, even make the slightest mistake. And he can still pull away. Cavignaro is in second, so he's gonna be in the podium position. I think he was fourth coming in pit lane, so he gained two spots in that go. As you see, there's Hartford in third. He lost only two spots due to that. So basically, his detriment is the pit stops. As you see here, LJ Mills and Jesse Turner are battling for position in the back. Not quite the runs they've needed, but I think they'll have to deal with it for now. As you see here, Hartford's really on the on the tail of Kavik Naro, so Naro is trying to hold him off, hold him off. So Kavik's trying to hold him off here. Kavik's got to run the stretches here. He's, he's got a good car in the stretches, in the, anywhere that involves like a straight line. And corner speed, I think, is not as good as the 27 here. But let's see, Lewis will probably pull away this time. So we are gonna reach lap 10 here. Let's see how much of a lead, probably a two second lead about. Oh, a three second lead, so Lewis has a big enough lead to pull away from the rest of this field. If he blows up, then that will be a shame. So Will Lewis is in the lead. Having now running in second, Hartford's still trying to get around him. He knows he's got the fast, well, actually, Kevin Naro had a faster car than Hartford, but Will Lewis has the faster car of them both. There's TJ Dent, three wide there, and Adrian Master, really close against each other. His master is really on driving aggressive. She's trying to find spots. Oh, he shoved the 38 a bit off there. And these guys are racing really aggressive in the back of the pack. So the, I might want to keep an eye on those later, but meanwhile, Lewis is in a big enough lead. Can't even 
drive it off the track either, so he's pretty much perfect at this track. So just, it's basically, it's been the Hartford and, well, yeah. It's Hartford been dominating this race, but he's in third, so that's unfortunate. He could have had this one. Uh, it's not gonna happen. Unless Will Lewis has a problem. Ellie Nelson, the points leader, continuing the struggle. She hasn't wrecked yet, but she's in 19th position. So it's an unfortunate turn of events for Ellie Nelson, so... As she's trying to get around DJ Curtis. Curtis is not really a success either. As Cavagnaro is going to get battle challenged by the 27 of Hartford, but can't quite get the run. As Will Lewis has pulled away, I think he's got a big enough gap to win, so I think Lewis has this clinched already. Well, not the championship, obviously, but the race. As you see, we're going to focus on this battle here with Hartford, Cavagnaro, and Kevin Mannon, and Kyle Cohen. So this is for these, technically, the second position, so... I think these guys are just waiting to make a move. Cohen made a bit of a mistake there. There's Hawkins running in the sixth position. Sixth position. So, Hawkins is doing an amazing job today. He's made his way up. Let's see, the bumper is going to be used a bit in this corner. And it's going to... Nobody. Nobody's tried to look for it. But here comes Kevin Mandon trying to get around the 27 now. Kevin, no, I think he's going to have to try and secure a second for now. He has to focus on defending. If you're, in the, if you're basically in the middle of this, like Hartford and Bandit and Collins, you have to defend and attack or attack. So you kind of have two options there. You can't really, if you're Cavagnar, you'll have to literally defend. As Hartford drove it a bit wide, they gave Cavagnaro some space there to breathe. So Cavagnaro, I think, will have second for now. Let's see if Hartford can do anything, or will Bandon do something? I, I don't know. As you see here, the it's been basically a single collar pack right here. As Johnny Mills has dropped quite a lot of positions, he's down in 7th position right now. As you see, the 26th of Christian Master, I still have him as Miller, like I said earlier in the race. Probably not, I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but he's falling back. As you see here, let's see, more pit stops. More pit stops. As Will Lewis will be the first one in. I think, let's see, if he if he makes a mistake in pit lane, that might have cost him. As you see, the 26 and the 15 have stayed out. As you see, the 18 as well. So, Christian Master, uh, who is that? Joe Perry, who flipped in Indianapolis. And the 18 of Dario Markstorm. So, these guys, I, I, don't, I don't think they have enough fuel, so I think they're going to pit the next lap. Let's see who else is going to say that. DJ Curtis and Ali Nelson, they're going to roll the dice here. But as you see, Jeff Cornell's as well. More cars coming out. Will Lewis will be the first one out of hit lane. Who will be the second one out? That will be Kevin Mandon. The second one out. Then Kyle Collins. Cavagnaro. No, then Hawkins. Then Cavagnaro. And many are So Hartford once again has a bad pit stop. As well, Lewis is going to come out. But, so Bandon gained a lot of spots there. I think at least three spots that time. As you see, Ali Nelson and Curtis are still battling. Basically, it's the 26 versus the 15 right now, but these guys are going to have to pit. So that will recycle the lead to Will Lewis. Unless these guys just go for fuel only. But these guys are going to go for tires. As you see, Christian Master trying to hold off the 15. The 15 is not... This is decently fast, but he's not... He's got to run into the corners. That's where Parrot gets his run. As Christian Master still trying to hold him off with three laps to go, these guys will have to pit. So that might have to give the lead to Will Lewis, who is, I don't know where he is. There he is, he's right there. Since he had a four point, uh, not four point, but a four second lead when he came pit lane, he will re inherit the lead. If these guys pit with just fuel only, then I don't know how this will end out. As here comes the 26 down pit lane, we got more following. 
as we're gonna focus on Will Lewis here. There he is, right there. Where is the 9 car? He is way back, so he's got a huge lead once these guys hit. As here they come down hit lane with two laps to go. Can they, can Will Lewis win this or will these guys up front do something about it? I don't know, I'd, I'd rather have them just take fuel only, but here comes Will Lewis off the corner. So you, they're gonna take tires, I don't know what they're doing, but I'd rather take fuel, just fuel only. But Will Lewis will re-inherit the lead as these guys will, I think, take only two tires. Christian Master and Joe Parrott are going to come out there right in front of maybe the 8 here. But the 8's going to see if he can pass the 15. He will. So Alex Hawkins will pass the 15 of Joe Parrott. So, so basically Will Lewis, I think, has this one. As we're going to focus on second here, it's the podium positions basically. Kyle Collins continue to have a good run. So maybe he's going to be a uh, championship contention. Might be in championship contention once we get to this end of the season. So keep an eye out on him. As you see here, there is the 9. So great run for. Basically a good run for Ganassi overall today. As Will Lewis is just going to. Take his jolly good time out there. I think he might have had this one already, so no, I don't think. I'm not really gonna focus on him until the last lap. So, as you see, the battle for second is there. Not really there. I think Collins is gonna wait for the nine to make a mistake. That's where most people, what most people do, but usually they don't make a mistake. As you see, the nine and the others are just. Hawkins went slightly off there. There's Cavagnaro who fell back a lot due to the pit stops as well. The 27. Who had, an, once again, a good car, but the pit stops really messed him up, so I don't think he's happy with the pit crew. Or either that, or he's just really, or it's just the air wrenches, I guess, are jammed. I, I don't really know, like the fuel is not working. But unfortunate turn of events for uh, Hartford, who dominated this race. He's dropped back a lot now, so he's probably going to be around. As it's going to be the white flag is out for Will Lewis. Lewis has a great, he's had one of the best cards out there today. There is uh, Kevin Mannon in second, Kyle Collins in the podium position in third. We're going to just focus on battle for fourth here. It's a big train of cars right there. As Christian Master is leading that field down, Alex Hawkins made his way into the fifth position, so a great run for Hawkins. He needs this run if he wants to move, gain some points and move up in the point standings. So, yeah. As you see here, there hasn't really been much of a battle. As you see, Curtis is actually battling the seven here for the seventh, actually the sixteenth position here. So these guys have been struggling. Cornell's. Oh man, I thought they were gonna get wrecked there. As meanwhile. Mark Storm just got bumped out of the way by Turner. As you see here, Lewis has made his way out of that corner, so he's got a huge, huge lead. As Col I think these two are going to stay in second and third for now. As you see, the 15 of Joe Parrott making his way, trying to get his way around Alan Cavignaro. Cavignaro is refusing, he's denying him. Coming in this corner, I think Parrott will get him. Right there, but nope, it's not going to work. Will Lewis is in the lead right now. There's Kevin Bandon running in the second position. I don't know if Kyle Collins will make a move. He will probably wait this corner right here. He's gonna make the move. Okay, maybe not. But Will Lewis, there you see the 15, has made a move on the 5. But here comes Will Lewis off of turn 4. Will Lewis coming off of, not turn four, but the last corner. Will Lewis has won here, has won here at Sebring. So the second win of the season for, uh, well, Will Lewis in particular. So there's see the rest of the field coming down. It looks like single file coming down toward the line. 
Uh, let's see if anybody else is double fire. As you see, the rest of the people are going to try and finish here. Allie Nelson has got a round DJ Curtis for position, so she will finish in the 16th position. So not a good day. See, there's the rest of the few. Just Curtis has gotten damaged from first in the lap shenanigans there. Uh, the 98 of Cash Kinzer struggling today. Once again, not a good day for Cash Kinzer. And he's, I think, I don't know if they're pitting. I think, wait, that might have slowing down before. I see Cash Kinzer crossing the line as with tight bend, so the bend is not doing that well. There, things again. Dan Bounds is the last one, I think, to cross the line, so we're gonna have to wait for that. Yeah, the results. PJ Williams was the only car out of the race after getting turned into the tires by Adriana Master. And as you see, let's see. We're gonna wait for the two to cross the line here. And then I can export this to the standings. Yes, I still have Miller's up there. So as there we go. The two has crossed the line, and you see the results on the left. As Will Lewis. Congratulations to Will Lewis. He is your winner. Here at Sebring, second win of the season. Congrats. As soon as I'll be up. Just a few seconds.